Welcome to the American Dream. I'm Ann Nordling. Today I'm in front of the Bullet Center, which is a sustainable building that was engineered by PAE engineers. Today I'm going to speak to David Mead from PAE and find out what constitutes a sustainable building and how does that benefit all of us going forward. Let's go meet him now. I'm here with David Mead. He is the head of the Regenerative Design Group at PAE. David, thanks for being on the American Dream today. Please tell me about your amazing company. It's so fascinating. Thank you. So we're an engineering company. We help design uh, buildings that are some of the high, highest performing buildings in the world. Uh, we're in a living building right now at the Bullet Center. Uh, and we've got a passion to help solve the energy, planet's energy and water challenges. What makes this a living building? What constitutes a living building? A living building is one that can generate as much energy as it uses in a year and also collect as much water as it needs. So it's kind of mimicking the forest that was here before so that it's self-sufficient and resilient to support itself. What components do you bring to a building to help achieve those goals? Yeah, it's, it's interesting because we work with clients all the time trying to show them what's possible. And this project was a demonstration project to show what's possible. And you can see the wood is one thing that's unique. So uh, this is trying to look at sustainably harvested materials right. that are creating a healthy indoor environment and excellent daylighting. The floor to floor heights are higher in this building so that it's passively daylight. You can see no lights are on, but it's still quite lovely in here, even on a kind of overcast Seattle day. Um, On-site energy generation. So we generate more energy than what we use in a year. And that's been operating for over 10 years now. So we're actually providing energy back to the grid. That's great. And water too, we collect our rainwater and we drink rainwater here. Oh, wow. So if you wanna drink rainwater, this is one of the few buildings that's actually possible in the country. And then do you generate the heat in the building? Is it, you know, radiant heat? Is it hydronic heat? How do you? Yep, these are radiant floors. So we've got geothermal uh, heat pumps. So those okay. are vertically drilled under the building. It wow. goes down 400 feet. Oh, wow. And that extracts the heat out of the ground and rejects the heat. Do you see a time when this would be financially feasible for the average homeowner? It's Switching. financially financially feasible right now. I did it on my own home. Oh, you did? Oh, wow. I My home's almost net zero. It's a 1904 retrofit. Oh, wow. And uh, yeah, I pay on average $11 a month That's for crazy. all of my energy requirements. That's fantastic. Is there a type of building? When I say type of building, I mean, is there a sort of building that you specialize in? In other words, commercial buildings? Do you do condos? I mean, what kind of buildings do you tend to, to work with? We work on everything from single family homes oh, wow. to airports. Crazy. So, and kind of everything in between, so. If someone wanted to look up an example of one of your products, projects other than this lovely bullet building, what would, are there any that you could think of that I could, that we could refer people to? Yeah, our PAE living building in Portland is great. If you're down in Portland, you should visit. It's uh, another living building, it's developer led. So it's first developer led living building in the world. Wow. So how to meet a developer's pro forma while also being a living building. That's great. And what's your favorite? I'm biased towards the Bullet Center. I work here. This is it's the nicest office I've ever worked in. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much for filling me in on your company. It's very inspiring to know that this is out here and actually a net positive to the grid. That's crazy. Thank you so much. Thank you. What an inspiring show. You know, I'm in real estate and seeing a building like this and hearing that in the future potentially a lot of residential homes could have these same kinds of features is really an exciting proposition for all of us. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you next time.